Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a very cute baby quilt. Peter Rabbit. You'll probably see a little bit there. See, see more as I'm doing some stitching. I'm just going to do a little free motion, a little loop and make her may my way around these cute little um, images and, uh, and I'll just make my way down the quilt. I put some butterflies up here and I'll put some butterflies down here as per my customer's request and then just fill it in the fun. Yeah. So let's just start off up here in the corner. Just using white thread. Put some locking stitches in there and 12 stitches per inch and it's off the belt. And I'm just going to do some, oops, a little flint. A uh, flint, sorry. Not flint. And then just work your way around the images, filling in the space, and that'll make those images pop up. You may have to, if you needed to come back and do some extra around uh, or sometimes inside, which we may do, especially just outlining the bunny. And of course, we don't want to go around the butterfly. I mean, go through the butterfly, we just want to go around the butterfly, okay? And then we can just come back over here, a loop, look our way, super easy and cute. Filling in the background all the way around. Just try your best to make it fit. It looks good. She said she'd prefer more quilting than less quilting because these are going to be baby quilts and be used often. I'll definitely be going around Peter Rabbit in the center in those plants and stuff like that. So that'll, that'll definitely um, keep that all nicely together. Come close to the plants. Around the butterfly, around the flower. You can toss in a little heart every now and again, or a star, or you know, there's there's lots of options, especially when you're just doing a meander loop. Pretty on the eye. Very easy to do. And you're just working your way around. I have two little baby quilts to do for my customer. This is one. The other one's got like a goose on it. I know I'm going to have to pick back up in here. So when I'm, I'm trying to de decide if I wanted to go scoop around as in an echo, but I think I'll just, and then I can always pick it up and work my way back down here towards the bottom part and come back here and just fill in these little gaps here. So let's start off at the side. The key point is trying to leave yourself enough room to get yourself from one spot to the next.
with enough free space to, you know, stitch freely. there okay I'm gonna stop with my needle down in my project okay so that is pretty much what I'm gonna be puttering at for the next little bit to finish this up and putting butterflies down each of the borders and of course across the bottom of this beautiful little quilt project itself so thank you everybody for watching liking and subscribing and uh, check us out Saturday at 1 p.m. when we live stream sometimes we have some 12 hour streams and toss those in there usually uh, we'll be doing one at the end of May um, come and hang out because lots of people in the chat to ask questions to or just if you would like some company some chipper company we've got lots of lots of friendly people so take care everybody and don't forget there's going to be a little video after this uh it's from one of my guildmates christie's quilt and i do believe it's with some kathy fabrics and we did a uh, dragonfly and bumblebee stitch out and it turned out really nice we used hot pink thread and uh on like a coral um mostly background sort of thing. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's absolutely lovely. So take care, everybody. Big hugs to you. And we'll see you come the weekend project and the live stream on Saturday. Bye. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the day.